Okay, so I've centered this a little low, lower than I certainly lower than I did for the cylinder. Keep it running full speed. I open this, leaving about three quarters of an inch, and as I pull it open, I let my hands glide up the side. It makes a curve. Use the flat parts of the fingers to squeeze this clay. Compress it. You'll notice that it gets thinner and thinner as you do that, so be careful you don't get it too thin. When you're finished compressing, it still ought to be at least 3 eighths of an inch thick. So we've done a lot already to shape this. Now I slow it down to half speed. I get my fingers underneath the, in the outside here, put a little water on there. Use the flat part of the fingers inside. As they come across, as I get over onto the wall, then I actually start to lift. And I come up. Whoops, if it gets a little dry. Don't do it suddenly, but ease away from it. I probably pulled out a little bit then. Don't do any shaping until you get the wall the right thickness. So I get a pull so it's narrowed out. Now I still have some clay down here underneath, but I need to leave a little bit of clay there in order to support this. Yeah, if you can't see and you want to look at what the inside of this looks like, I'm going to push this out just a little bit down inside of here, the wall. And that's almost thin enough, but I've got a bulge right here, so I'm going to come up from there. Even. So right now I make a good whipped cream bowl probably. It's deep. It won't throw whipped cream all over the walls of my kitchen. <laughs> the inside of this I want to define a little better. So I take my round rib to it. And depending on how you hold that, the lower you hold that, the lower an angle you hold that, the more shallow the curve. So what I'm going to do is take my longest finger of both hands, one on top, one on the bottom, and I'm going to push this forward. I'm going to push my right hand, which is on the bottom, forward to get a contour that kind of matches what's already down there. So I set this down inside and I just gently tip it, push down. I don't know if you can see inside, but that gives you a yeah. really beautiful curve. Very nice, gradual, curving shape. Now, the next step is to bend this out at the rim. So I put a little water on that, and then I compress this to make it just a little thicker, and I use the flat parts of my fingers, lying over the edge, edge and part way down in like that, and I just bend this out you see my finger perpendicular on the top here, even though it goes sideways, and I bend that out. Now, that's nine inches long, so it could be an inch narrower than that, still be fine. Now, I could leave it like that. I could put this finger out here and push and make a distinct ridge, which is going to make the ridge like uh, I could make it more gradual by putting the screen up there. It could be a bowl that came out very gradually. I'm going to get something that's kind of in between. So I'm going to put a little bit of water on the upper side, a little water on the bottom side, so it's slippery and slides easily. I'm going to put my arms against my ribs, and I'm going to start down here on the curve down below, and I'm going to gently push out as I draw my fingers up to the rim. Just ease off at the top. Now, that's mostly shaped. I can take my rib, however, and again, I'm going to put a little water on the outside so it's light easily. Right now, it's mostly like this bit. Mm -hmm. sure so I put a little water in there. I can take this rib and hold it really shallow so it's a really low curve, and I can come up the wall, gently pushing out. I have to be careful because this moves really quickly when you push on it. So don't move too much too fast. And that helps define that curve. 
Now, you don't want to leave it like that because this rim, although it's slightly thicker, just below it is pretty thin. And when this dries or is disc fired or is glaze fired, you can warp. So we want to change this contour. We want to tip it out. We want to tip it in. We want to make it thicker. We want to roll it gradually. But you need to change it somehow. These little variations that you see here make that much stronger and less likely to work. If it comes straight up and it's thin at the edge, it can work. Almost guarantee it. So this is a real gradual rim. I think I'm going to see what I can do here to kind of smooth this out. Little variations, little ridges you can fill in by taking your sponge and just slowly going down to the center. When you get to the middle, just lift up slowly and get a nice sponge finish all the way. I need to do something with this rim. I think I'm just going to fold this out slightly. That makes it much easier to pick up and it will be less likely to warp. So I'm just going to take my thumb, my finger on top, and take those fingers on me to just roll this index finger over my thumb. Just go like that. And it will roll that clay out and watch. I just tip that over the top of my thumb and it bends it out and gives it a nice gradual edge. Right. So now we put a little water on there. I take my shampoo, I can find it. There it is. And we do this the same way we did the cylinder. I put a little water on the edge. Did I see that? Come here and remember that charge. Always put water on the edge. Not a Not praying romantic. Praying. Praying. Have you seen that movie, Lee? Kung Fu Panda? You need to sit down. Which one? Kung Fu Panda. I have it. The first one. You need to sit down with your grandchildren and watch it. You and them will love it. Maybe. Ooh, my <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to put a line of slip right here. I'm just going to gently touch against this. So there's kind of a, he said, and it didn't work. There we go. I'll just put a little rim, ridge right there and slip. Okay. Now, if this gets too flat, it's going to tip. It's going to collapse. Mm -hmm. That's okay. That'll be fine. There's another way we can finish a bowl. I'll just show you this real quick. So if I can do this, it's kind of moist here. I like this clay. It's a little bit red. You can take your fingertips like this, start in the middle, slowly come up with just a little tiny bit of pressure. I love the spiral. Make a spiral pattern. That's where you have to slip. Now this, this is a little flat, so I'm going to tip that slightly. You see what little tiny variations could do? Mm -hmm. Now I need to stop working with this because it's getting really soft, it's really wet, and it's got a little wobble, and it might collapse here. In fact, I'm going to cut this off. That's much better. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> so That's a little too far out there. Yeah, I don't like Shaming that later. Okay. Now, uh, I need to cut this <coughs> off. When you've got a bowl that's wide or a plate, you may not be able to do it like this because you may not have enough space. I can on this one. So I come up, come up here close, pull tight, and I come three quarters of the way through, and then I keep pulling tight to the sides, keep the thumbs flat, and I let this turn on for the last quarter of inch. Now, the reason you do that is it keeps the pot right in the middle. Mm -hmm. If you pull it all the way through and then seal it back on, it tends to jump to one side if it goes wet. Is there air bubbles in there? Right. I have one little one. Two little ones. Three. Okay. 
Okay, all right. What's the I'm having trouble here because my I worked in the yard in Saturday and I have I lost my fingernails. I wore them out. Okay, so that's a little bit of a harsh edge, harsh edge, but I'm going to come back and.